hello. <laughs> so you've just built your lovely DDR5 system, like this one, for example, and uh, you do the first boot and it boots up quite quickly. So then you think, well, I've just put in some, you know, it's got some funky RAM in it. So what I'll do is I'll enable um, the correct settings for that RAM. So you go into your BIOS and you change them and then you notice it takes a long time for it to boot. So we'll just demonstrate that. So at the moment this boot is um, got the default settings. So if I restart this, we'll see how long it takes for it to boot. And you can see there's a little LED lit up. That's the RAM check. And then it should it'll flash green on it. There's the green one, and now we're booting. So you can see how long it takes for it to boot there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna restart it and go into the BIOS to set the RAM um, overclocking setting so let's restart this tap delete while i'm doing it tap 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 so there's that led again Right, so I'm going to go into um, not easy mode, <laughs> advanced mode, and I'm going to go to memory, and I'm going to see the, there's the Expo there because it's an AMD system, so I'm going to use the Expo. Now the Expo profile DDL5 6000 MTS, that's the one I want, so I'm going to choose that. Okay, and then um, when I'm in advanced mode, you can see it's it's set it there with the profile there, profile one. But to cut a long story short, if that's what you've done with your RAM, when it restarts, it takes a long time to boot, a long time to boot. And the, the RAM LED stays on for a long time and the processor LED might stay on as well, depending on what you know status things you've got. This is an MSI board, it's got little LEDs on it. So um, what you should do then before, well, well, we're not going <laughs> to, there's no point showing you that because you've already experienced it. So after you've set the Expo profile, there's a thing there on this motherboard, in the bars on this motherboard called Memory Context Restore. Enable that. Okay. So I'm going to restart it with, um, with that disabled. I'll save the settings here. So I've enabled the memory profile. I'll click yes, and then we'll see how long it takes for it to restart. And what'll happen then is the RAM will um, be on the new setting and then it will retrain. Uh, and what's happening is if you just set it on the, um, if you just set the RAM profile and don't do anything else, then every single time it boots, it kind of retrains itself. Um, and that can take quite a long time depending on what configuration you've got. So the RAM light's just gone off and then um, we should get the green light and we should see the, the thing. But that, that is a lot longer than it was. <laughs> with, so the first time you enabled the memory profile, let it boot because it will do your RAM training. Okay. And then what we'll do now is, because you saw how long that was, I'm going to restart it again and go back into the BIOS and just enable that setting. So restart, tappy tappy tap on the delete key on this one. As you can see the, um, the LED is lighting up and how long it takes. So there's the LED, so it's, it, it's RAM training now. 
and that stays on for quite a while. See, it's still on. So you enable the profile, it does the RAM training, but if you don't then change one other setting, it will keep doing RAM training every time it boots. And the RAM training will take time depending on what configuration you've got. On some systems, it can take up to two minutes. So that's finished its RAM. So I'm, going to, I'm still tapping delete because I'm going to catch it to get into the BIOS again and change the setting. So we've got a green light. So I'm going to go into um, the settings here and there's the memory context restore is what MSI call it. That's disabled by default. So I'm going to make that enabled and then I'm going to save the settings. So I've enabled the Expo one profile, which matches the speed I want and I've enabled memory context restore I'm going to click yes to the restart save and restart and then we'll see what it does now so it's had a chance to train the RAM once and now I've enabled that setting so hopefully it won't take quite as long to boot Hammer light's gone off. And it boots. So I'll do a restart. And we'll see how long that takes. So this is a full restart. Now the lights have gone off now. And it's booting. So it takes a lot less time, doesn't it? I think there's another setting with um, fast boot. Uh, having fast boot enabled also helps. What, what fast boot does, <laughs> while you're watching, what fast boot does is it um, doesn't initialize everything on boot. So it tries to get to the desktop as quickly as possible. So if you've got a million USB ports, it doesn't initialize them all. It just, you know, it, it, it tries to speed up the boot by not doing things until later on in the boot process. So um, you might find that enabling fast boot, if it's not enabled, enabling fast boot might also help. Um, but by default, I think on most modern motherboards, fast boot's enabled anyway, So, but you could still check it. Um, right, so in summary, you build your system, you put the DDR5 RAM in, you go to boot, it works perfectly, boots up very quickly, as, as you, well, it boots up as you'd expect it to. Uh, and then you think, great, I've got some funky RAM. It's, it's higher speed than stock spec. So I'm going to enable the memory profile and have my PC running at full juice. So you go back into the BIOS, you enable the profile, and then you restart it, and it takes absolutely ages to boot. So what it's doing there is it's memory training. It's the processor and the memory are interacting with each other to see, you know, see what works and what doesn't, basically. So when that's been done, if you then return to the BIOS and enable that um, memory context setting, it doesn't keep doing it every time it boots. It does it once, kind of remembers what it's discovered, and then get it. So, um, yeah, I hope that helps. <laughs> Because it certainly made this machine boot a lot faster with its full settings. So if I go to hardware monitor here, for example, uh, I'll go to CPU ID, CPU Z, uh, and we'll look at the um, the RAM. So you can see here that this, if I go to memory, you can see it's running at 3,000 megahertz, which times two is six. Uh, and the SPD says it's DDR5 6000, 3000 megahertz. So that's, um, yeah, so that's now set correctly.
Uh, obviously on the default stock settings, it'll be whatever it is on the stock settings for the processor. So that proves that it's enabled and this machine is now running in its full, full juice. Um, if you've got any questions, um, stick them in the comments. Um, liking and subscribing is appreciated. Um, I hope this video helped you uh, and um, thanks for watching.